Hello everybody. Welcome to today's Kids in the Kitchen video. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you how to safely use a blender and afterwards demonstrating a recipe that you guys can make at home using your own blender. Now, my blender look, probably looks a little different from what you have at home, but I promise you it does the same job. So blend means to mix and a blender takes food and mixes it super, super well. Now how that does that is that there's a very sharp blade that is located inside. Now when I go to turn on my blender, that blade is going to move around super, super fast in a circle, therefore mixing all the food that's inside really, really well. Now because that blade is so sharp and moving so fast, we never ever want to stick any spoons down inside while it's moving. Instead, turn off your blender, wait till that blade has stopped and then scrape down anything that may be on the sides of our pitcher. Now also, we wanna make sure while we're blending that we keep a good strong hand on top. Cause sometimes that food goes around so, so fast that it can make our lid pop off. And then all, and then all the stuff that we have inside is gonna end up on our walls and our counters. So make sure you keep that lid on, your hand on that lid super well. Okay, and then lastly, we wanna make sure that we clean our blender afterwards. Now remember, I said that blade was super sharp, so I would have an adult wash the blade for you so you guys don't cut yourself. So pretty simple, right? So for today's recipe, we're gonna be making something called a frozen strawberry yogurt. Now this sounds like a really good recipe because it is getting to be so hot outside. Now this recipe is really simple. It only has three ingredients. And the first one's gonna be a cup of vanilla yogurt. Then we're gonna follow it with four cups of frozen strawberries. Now I chose strawberries because I really like strawberries, but you can use whatever fruit you like. So that could be bananas or maybe some mixed berries. Again, it is whatever you guys like. Now sometimes our fruit can be a little sour, so this recipe is gonna ask that you use three tablespoons of sugar. Now if you don't like sugar, honey or maybe an agave syrup, that can work just as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take the lid off of my blender here, and I'm gonna put my yogurt in first. Now, there really isn't no way to put in your ingredients when using a blender, but I find that my blender has a little easier time when I put in the liquid stuff in first. So here we go. So we're gonna put that in there. Sure. And then I'm gonna follow it up with my frozen strawberries. Okay. And then we're gonna top it off with that sugar. I'm going to put my lid on. Okay. All right. Okay. So the lid is on. So remember, we want to keep that hand on there so we our lid doesn't pop off. Okay, now it's going to get super loud. And because my strawberries are really big, we probably want to blend for maybe a minute or so. So I'm going to stop halfway through to see how things are looking inside. Okay, they're starting to look good. So put that back on there and continue to blend. All right, so that is gonna be my finished projects. Projects, and that's it. So that is our frozen strawberry yogurt. And remember, what it, you can use whatever fruit you want. So that's today's video, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.